What's up, everybody? It is Matt Mode, Iowa Thajdam. And for this video, we're talking Miami versus Iowa State. Um, two double digit seeds, Iowa State as the 11 seed going against Miami as the 10 seed. Both, um, both teams won first and second round upsets to get here in the Sweet 16. Unfortunately, only one team can move on, and we can only have one of these double digit seeds in the Elite Eight. Um, so, Starting with Miami, I mean, both teams in general got here because of their defense, but we'll start with Miami. Um, pretty impressive win against Auburn, won pretty handedly. They did a great job shutting down potential top five pick Jabar Javari Smith to only 10 points, Jabari Smith. And then they also did a good job shutting down potential first round pick Walker Kessler to only two points. Uh, for those of you who have been following along on these YouTube videos, um, OE, I myself had faith in Miami. I thought that they um, that they are better than the 10 seed that they were given. Uh, they have legitimately impressive wins against Duke and UNC in a short span of time. The problem with them was always inconsistently, inconsistency. So they had the talent in, um, in their players, um, their sophomore Isaiah Wong and senior Charlie Moore. They've always had talent. They just could never really play on a consistent basis. But um, if they played up to if they played up to their potential, it was no surprise to see them win two games, especially their win against Auburn. Um, it was easy to see that coming. Not that necessarily um, it was you know it was a likely outcome, but it was definitely one where someone could have seen them win, and they did, and they won pretty handily. So they're going up against Iowa State, who um, has been phenomenal on defense in their first two games. Um, they played LSU in the first round. You know, a team kind of in a little bit of disarray, having fired their head coach, but much more talented than Isaiah, Iowa State, and they got the win. Next round, they went against Wisconsin. Um, this was a team who, if they could get hot, was as dangerous as any team in the country, but against Iowa State, they didn't even come close to getting hot. <laughs> um, so um, Iowa State did a great job shutting down uh, Johnny Davis, Wisconsin's best scorer, and also guard Brad Davidson. Um, so looking at this matchup, between these two teams, I expect scoring to be hard hard to come by. So I do like the under in this game. I'll get to that in a little bit later. But as far as um, the winner and loser, I actually really like Miami in this spot. Um, I think, you know, Iowa State's a great story. They won two games last year and the whole entire season. And now they're in the Sweet 16 for the first time since 2016. But I just think Miami is the better team. They have a little more of a proven track record, track record in terms of teams they've beaten this year. And I just trust them a little more offensively. I think both teams are going to be good on defense, but I trust Miami offensively more so than I do Iowa State. But um, I wouldn't be surprised if Iowa State won, but to give my official prediction, I'll go ahead and take Miami here. So I'm going to go ahead and take their money line. Um, looking at the spread was well, actually a, a play that I didn't really like. It was either money line or bust in, in terms of picking the outcome of the game. Um, but there's a little bit of value on Iowa State plus two and a half, but really not a ton. Um, you know, what's interesting is this game started as a pick 'em, but eventually, you know, the money started coming in on Miami. Now, obviously, you see they're the two and a half point favorite. So I don't really see a good play here on the spread really at all. In the total, I really do like the under. So as of right now, uh, depending on where you look, the total's priced at 132.5 to 133.5. I love getting it under 133.5. You can see it's most books, it's where they have it priced, but the Ashton Perfect Line prices that at minus 118, where most other books price it at uh, minus 110. So you're getting a little bit of value there. If you wanna buy that extra half point, get it under 133, you can get it at minus 105 on Barstool, Bet Rivers, and Unibet. It's another play that I do like the value of. But overall, my favorite play in this game is Miami Moneyline, and I also really do like the under. Um, but that's all I got for you. So let me know what you think. You can hit me up at my Twitter handle below. Um, you can also uh, comment on the video. would love to hear your feedback either way. One thing I also do want to note is just um, sign up for the Ajdam Partner Program. You'll see the link in the description of the video. It's an easy way for you to join the Ajdam team and cash with us. It's a great feature. All you got to do, refer Ajdam to your friends, have them sign up using your link, and you get paid based on every payment they make to Ajdam. It's, it's a great tool, great way to support Ajdam, great way to cash with us at Ajdam. Um, but as far as this video goes, that is all I got for you. So again, uh, appreciate your feedback. Would also appreciate a like on the video. 
subscribe to the Odd Jam YouTube channel. And that is all I got for you. So thanks for watching and have a good one.